Tonight we head to the north of England to explore and investigate an abandoned home that holds a dark and chilling history. The house sits abandoned since the death of a family member made the family leave and never want to return to the house that once held so many memories. Inside still sits the remnants of the family's lives, but tonight we delve inside looking for something more, not what remains, but possibly who. Many rumours surround the house, and locals say nobody has entered the home in decades, but that doesn't stop people being seen and heard in the property. Some even claim to see the woman that died here sat in an upstairs window wearing a bridesmaid's dress, beckoning children and passers-by into the home. Tonight, we accept the bridesmaid's invitation and enter the property to find out who remains eternally trapped inside. Okay, Explorer, so we're inside this huge abandoned house now. Look at these cobwebs, the whole place is thick with these dirty buggers. Look at the size of that spider. The house is absolutely huge. Here with Becky from Opex Couple. Downstairs bathroom. This place is absolute vibes, straight away, on edge. There is quite a bit left behind, enough personal effects to possibly get a decent investigation. Old fishing rod there. I'm not really sure what this part of the house is. A bit like a barn. Conservatory going on here, back door over there. But we will push forward so we can see the house and then investigate it. So, this is the main part of the house now. Coming in through this back door, straight into this kitchen. Check this out sofas in here. Looks like a modern kitchen, modern cooker there, but then you've got the old arger in the chimney breast. Quite good condition, nice tiling. Condiments, vinegars, beers on the side. You can see broken windows. And look at those. Mint condition. Teddy's bog roll. Oh, check this out. Old wedding picture. That's cool. What we got here? Bathroom. Bloody hell. So many bathrooms. Look at the webs, man. Look at that web. Have you ever seen anything like it in your life? Bloody Spider-Man's web. Old board games on the side there. Connect for stay alive. Failed that game. But look at the cobwebs, man. That is literally a rope. It's got its own shadow. Cobwebs in here, back. Oh, disgusting. Oh, well, the old riding boots are even covered in them. Yeah. What the hell? 
out of there. Jesus. Liquid paraffin there. That's nice. Multi pot. This is crazy. It is vibes in this place. Oh my god, there's about like 50 million spiders in there. In the fridge. Are you spiders in the floor? Yeah. They're just attached to the cobwebs. You covered them? Mm. Right, we're going to push forward. We're going to check this house out. Look at the webs, man. Just pure ropes. Pretty someone swinging from them. Look at the dresses. Nice writing bureau. That's cool. Nice detail in there. First prize, 1947. Wow. 1936 there. Hello. Basement. It's not time for basement yet. But look at that. What the hell, man? Jesus, what caused that? Oh my days. I ain't going in there, look at this. A wall of spider webs. Stopping anyone going in this living room. There is just a sofa in there. Old fireplace, but the paint peel though. And this door, the colour of it. I see ya, I see ya. Nice wooden staircase. Oh, there's clothes hanging over the banister there. This is the living room. We even got the dining room table with all cups and sauce and still here. That's cool. Vases. Oh, a little cake slicer. A couple of bread knives. Oh, you can see the old wallpaper. Look at that, that is pure Amityville vibes. It's creepy as. This staircase is unreal. And the old front door. Once again, just cobwebs everywhere. You can see that ivy pushing against it. We will head upstairs. Wow, this is a moldy living room. Hello, what do you think you're living? Who are you? And why are you just sat there? I don't know if you can hear my feet on this one. You alright? Yeah. Oh, you scared the life out of me. Sorry. What did you do? Drop my light. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, lad. Right, let's head upstairs. saying so far explorers this place is so creepy proper old Victorian time capsule we've got clothes hanging over the banisters here what the hell man no idea how long this place has been abandoned the outside's quite damaged there's a lot of slates missing hence the moldy walls and ceilings but wow this place Lorna's room. Got trophies down here. What are they for? Horse riding. That's cool, equestrian. There's quite a few of them. 1982, I can see on that trophy. Jeez. Wow. Look at the damage. We've even got wardrobes. Empty. Empty. So we've got a name at least, Lorna. Wonder if that was a daughter. These floors are absolutely drenched. I'll oh, check out the clothes. Wow. Cocked 
cocktail dresses, Sunday best for church, a lot of fur down the bottom there. Oh look at the bugs. Wow these are Princess Diana style dresses. Another one there, like a bridesmaid's dress. Oh there's bugs all over this room now, that was clever. Wow. Another fancy dress. She obviously uh, dressed very nicely. Well to do events. Definitely had some money living in a house this size. Jeez. And more artwork up on the wall there. Okay. I mean look at the size of this house. It's absolutely huge. Next room, cleared out bedroom. A bit drier in here, but not less mouldy. Shotgun shells, not used. Little makeup thing, camera box. Some right fancy hats here. Big hat box. Definitely went to the races, maybe. What was that? Oh my days, guys, check out this attic. Wow, got a head up there. We'll finish going through these bedrooms first, though. Quite cleared out, aren't they? Look at all these, uh, from cigarettes. And then stamps collections. Check that out. Can you believe the size of it? It looks tiny. Well, not tiny, it looks quite small when you're outside. When you come in though, it just goes on forever. Old comic books. Naughty Amelia Jane. Oh. Happy hours. Gulliver's Travels, Amelia Jane there, more about Amelia Jane then. Oh, here we go. To Lorna, Happy Christmas, Love from Charlotte, 1988. There she is, look, 1988 year before I was born. There's the house look. I think that's this house, I'm not sure. How long has this place been abandoned? All tractor magazines, beer, stickers. Just the bathroom here. That actually smells quite mouldy and damp. This house is so retro. Wow, decayed. Oh, check them out. Check the cocktail dresses out. Or are they bridesmaids dresses? I'm not sure, but they're fancy as. Wow. Definitely had a few quid. Water dripping. Paddington on the wall there. Creepy ass clown. There's all gold jewellery here, look. Check that out. That's cool. More jewellery there. Wow, this room is quite decayed. Is that the window? The window's closed. Hello? the stairs that go back down. Oh, there's a few books on here, look. Flowering shrubs, nice. Right, let's uh, have a look at this paint in the drawing. Wow, 
it's a drawing. It's just left here. Wow, that's got some age to it in his little kilt. That's cool. Love finding the old photographs. Back through this room. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <gasps> oh my days. Just completely full of pearls, silver, gold, brooches. Damn. Gun box. Okay, explorers, that's floor number two done. Gotta head upstairs, check out the attic, and then get the equipment out, I think. Do a few shout outs, see what's happening. This is crazy. Oh my God, the cobwebs in this attic. Are you having that? Oh, there's ribbons there. From competitions. Oh, not a chance I'm standing on that bottom step. Look at the decay. They've put buckets out to catch the water. Oh, hello. Was that moving then? Why are those baubles swinging? That's weird. Clothes piled in this wardrobe. Look at the decay. Look straight out there. Possibly why the thing was swinging. Saddles up here. Old heaters. This is crazy. Oh, is that an old sewing machine? It is, look at that. Starlet. Lock stitch. More old books. Jesus, these have seen some time pass, haven't they? The wide, wide world. The Vicar of Wakefield, of course. Bibles. Song sheets. Wow. Check the old suitcase. Anything in there? There is in fact four rooms up here. Oh my god, who the hell are you? Jesus. You okay there, mate? Wow, we've seen better days, eh? Poor bugger. Old mirrors. Look at. Oh, you creepy son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Even a fancy dress of an angel. All still left up here. Oh wow, there's just so much up here. Hello sir. Who are you? Who's this guy? Looks like a wedding picture. Gas mask. Old clocks. All just hidden away up here. I wonder why they kept them. Ivy, even up to the windows up the top floor. Peter Pan. Annual 1970. <coughs> now, pieces aren't in there. Jesus, he was just hanging a jacket up in the attic. Look at that old TV behind there. Proper old tube back telly. Just part of the ceiling, the roof on there. Look at that. Garfield chair. Oh wow, the old bookshelf. What do we have up here? 
Psalms to Islam, Jeremiah, I don't know, to Malachi, and the old books haven't been touched in years. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Ooh, some sort of crazy bug. Check these wedding pictures. Wow. Unreal. More old jars. Okay, explorers, so we've had a quick look around. What an amazing place this is. All the old artifacts, personal possessions, we've got portraits, we've got absolutely everything we need to try and do an investigation. So let's get the equipment out and hopefully see who remains in this house. My arms. My arms? What about your arms? Can you let us know? See, this room is so mouldy, isn't it? Is there anyone in this room with us? You can speak to the device in my hand. Can you make any knocks on the walls, on the ceiling? Can you speak to this device in my hand? That's strange that that's going off straight away. Doesn't always go off. Can you knock on the walls like this? Still going off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go into the living room, see if we get anything there. I'm standing right here. Oh, I'm standing right here with that going <laughs> off. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us what year you think it is? The devices won't harm you in any way, they just let us know that you're here. Can you come into this room with us now? Can you really grab hold of that? Becky will love that. Help us. Help you? How can I help you? That's crazy how it's starting to go off now that's talking as well. It's literally nowhere near it, so. Can you tell us how we can help you? Like you said, you can make any knocks, any bangs around the home. All these walls are solid, I think banging. Like this. Beware. Beware. Beware of what? Is there something that doesn't want us here? You hear something? Just get a feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where from the hallway? Yeah. Head towards the feeling. <laughs> Let's go. Oh! I just got dead warm there. Like serious. Betsy. Betsy. Is that your name? Go on, are you feeling anything? I don't know, I felt a bit creeped out here. Yeah. The top of the basement. Look at the handprints on the door. Creepy. Oh, Where yeah. are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Wales. Back is from uh, Tory land down south. 
Can you tell us where you're from? I'm not going in that room because there's a pure wall of cobwebs off that door. Yeah. Can you touch that device again for us? Can you really grab hold of it, make it go to red like you did before? Isn't that weird? It was going all the way to red in that front room, but not in here. Yeah. Feel. Feel. Where are you feeling back? Should we go through it? Yeah. It's going in the room. It is. Where's a red? Oh no. I protect this place. I protect this place. Why does it need protecting? Can you tell us? No, that's crazy. Christopher. Christopher. Who's Christopher? I forgot to look for, look at the hooks where they used to hang the mm. carcasses, bodies. Do you protect this place from Christopher? That was weird because I said who do you protect it from? Except for that front room, it didn't really go off. Mm. If you passed away in this house, is that possible? If it's yes, you did, touch that device now. Come on. Can you tell us which room it was in? Was it in this room that we're in? Was it a different room? Upstairs? You can speak to this device, remember? Night. 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 Is it night time now for you? Was it night time when you pass away? Let's put that on there. Do you hear something? Mm. What? Like a ram. Is that you that we've just heard? Touch that device if it is. that wind. Without saying goodbye. That's rude. 
I always put the camera on myself and then can't see where I'm going. Because I need this camera to... Victor. Victor. Right. Do to go first? Into the darkness. It is very dark. <laughs> It's them. Can you tell us who they are? Let's go to that front bedroom. Who are they? Tell us. I name Anne. Victor. Is Victor your name? Touch that device Becky's holding. If we're speaking to Victor now. Is it somebody else? <gasps> Come and tell us your name then. Come and tell us who you are. That's crazy. Literally on demand. I can't mirror it back. Mm. What the hell is that pattern on it? Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Scott. Scott. Is that who we're talking to? Said that this weekend. Did it? Mm. So is this Scott that we're speaking to? Touch so that device if it's Scott. Do you mind us being here, mate? Or would you prefer if we left? <gasps> oh my god. Burnt. Oh. Burnt. Burnt. Is that how he died? Oh, that really doesn't want his ear, does it? Really doesn't want his ear. Is that how you died, Scott? Were you burnt? Electric shock. Electric shock? Do you get burns off electric? You do, don't you? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Is it dangerous in here now for us? You're doing really well touching that device for me. That's crazy. Can you do it one more time? No. Some good results in there, wasn't it? So we got in there, Scott, burn, electric shock, it's dangerous. Which all pretty much go together, don't they really? In the dark room. Straight away. <gasps> all the way to Amber. Can you tell us how many people are in Push. this? Push. Was that you? I'm sad. I'm sad. Is that you, Becky's just heard? What did it sound like? Like a tap. Is that you that's just tapped? Can you do it again for me? Really appreciate what you've done so far. Candle. Candle. So burn electric, push. That was clear. How many people are in this house right now? Can you tell me? We fight the darkness. We fight the darkness. Lorna's room. Straight across. 
I just got a proper cold breeze, but could be the attic. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the damage there. Can you tell us how you see the house now? Is it in good condition? Is it derelict like it is now? Can you tell us what year it is? Can you touch that again for us so we can see it? Having a done. <gasps> Fuck. Straight away. You gave us some names of men earlier. Scott. Is this who's with us? Victor. One of them said I'm going to leave. So I wonder if it was one of them maybe. Is the person that owns this suit still in this house? Oh, there you go. Is that the man that's with us? We fight the darkness and the night. I can't protect you. Who do we need protecting from? Can you tell us? Can you tell us if they're in the house now by touching that device? Fuck. So whatever it's saying can't protect us from is in the house straight away because that literally on demand. Mm. Ada. Ada. Awesome. The fancy dresses room. Boom. I feel lost. I feel lost. Is there a reason you're still in this house with us? Is there a reason you're trapped here? Do you want to leave? Destroy. Destroy. What do you want to destroy? That's gone pretty quiet in here, hasn't it? Yeah. It all seems to be at the front of the house. And I'm guessing it's the front of the house, the oldest part, and these are all added on afterwards. Like, that's the original house. How the hell, how long's that been here? I like the lights. Can you touch them now then? Pissing in the bucket. <laughs> Touch the lights now then, if they're the ones that you like. I can get more out. How's that sound? You hear something? Hmm. What? Someone's watching. No way. Yeah. Way. Way. Sounds like a whistle. Yeah. This literally just said someone's watching. And then we heard a whistle. I feel like the stairs could be interesting. Right in the middle of the house. Need help. Need help again. <laughs> it's this part of the house. 
Agree? Yeah, look, going off again. Yeah. So I'm gonna set some equipment up on this staircase. We'll set some up on the stairs and then we'll set some up in the hallway in the old part of the house and see if we can get anything else on the other devices. Sound good? Sounds fabulous. Okay, explorers, so we have set up the center of the house, the old part of the house. We have cat balls running up the stairs, all the way to the REM pod, sitting at the top. We're gonna use the spirit talker still, and we have the music box set up on the chair. We also have a cat ball just sat in that doorway, and the K2 on the stairs. So, whoever we've been speaking to, would you like to come and touch play with these devices now? They'll light up. You can answer questions through them. The music box sat on the chair. That'll play a tune if you cross its path. The REM pod will change colours. So if the bloke we were talking to, I think he said his name was Victor. And then there was another one, wasn't there? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> So it's not Victor, straight away. Scott. Scott. If one of those fellas are here, can you set off one of the devices for us? If there's a female in this house, you can do the same. That was well clear. Bang, bang. Mm. Bang, bang. Mm. Whoever we can hear, do you want to come down the stairs, come towards us? Unfinished business. Unfinished business. The rack. The rack. There's racks up in the food storage area, isn't there? Yeah. Can you touch one of these devices? Hear my footsteps. <gasps> hear my footsteps, that's literally what we heard. Sweet Jesus. We can hear them. Do you want to come down? We can hear your footsteps. We'd like you to come, touch this equipment on the stairs. No, that's disgusting. K2 just flickered said hear my footsteps literally straight after mm. Hold that for me. okay so you said hear your footsteps can you do it again for us okay two we make the noises we make the noises well, so I can't ask for them now, you're just going to do them. That's fair enough. It's funny how that's going off. It didn't go off once when I was holding it. <laughs> do you like Becky? This is going off. <laughs> that's crazy because literally we're stood in the same spot. We're stood in the same bloody area. Why is it not going off when I'm holding it? Ask that. I think they'd prefer you. Mm. Yeah. Not a chance, it's not flickering. Boom. Touch that device now. Mate. Illegal. Illegal. That's going off now when you hold it. 
Hurting. Hurting. What's hurting? Can you tell us? Oh, that's crazy. Aspect. Can you touch one of the devices? You're nervous. Mm. There's a red light on the top of the stairs. Can you touch that? Can you make that? Fuck off. <laughs> Mate. Thank you. What? I know it's a big ask. Could you do it again for me? Is that possible? I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out. Thank you for reaching out to us. If you could touch that red light again, that would be absolutely amazing. Literally as I asked. That's still going on. <gasps> it happened here. Did something bad happen? Let us know by touching these devices. As I said, let me show you. If you cross this threshold, it'll play a nice tune for you. Is that something you could do for us? I can see it. That's going crazy. What is this? Is it? I can see the purple lights. The purple's the strongest. Thank you for doing that. That's nuts. So you're still going, going mad. If you come down these stairs, there's little balls. They'll light up. If you want to come towards my voice, can you touch you're. that? You. And again. I know. Thank you. Can you tell us who's touching it? Oh, has the band come off it? Yeah. <gasps> Do you want me to put it back? Me. She answered me. It has as well. Oh my god, the band's come off. She literally answered with sass. I'm trying. I understand you. Thank you. Did you just say she understood me? Yeah. I said she answered me. Bloody. Right, that is settling. Floating. Right, K2. Can you set that device off again for us? I'm really sorry it didn't play a tune. It will do now. Also, if you want to come down these stairs, if you're upstairs still. They like that, don't they, when you're holding it? Mm. Be cautious. Be cautious. Okay. This is going crazy now. Who do I need to be cautious of? This is helping me. This is helping me. And I'm getting a cold breeze coming down those stairs.
He is a man. I thought he had footsteps. Mm. I'm really glad it's helping you. If you want to help us by telling us that you're here. It's 21.14. Why has that just told you the time? Why would that do that? Has that ever done that before? Just randomly tell you the time? Mm -hmm. I'm very lonely here. I'm very lonely here. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything we can do now to help you? I'm from the 1800s. I'm from the 1800s. Did you pass away in this house? Can you tell us that? Buried. Buried. Are you buried here? Funny how it didn't say passed away, it said buried. Like, spe specifically said buried. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk, fair enough. You don't have to talk, but you can touch the devices. You Somebody's just said that it's helping them. That's so crazy how that answered. And I said, has the band come off? And it was like, yeah, fuming. <laughs> Is there anything else you could do to show us you're here? Right, we're gonna have to try because it does. Blood. Blood. I ain't giving you blood to talk to you. <laughs> no, no deal. Is this somebody else? Wanna come down the stairs? You wanna to speak to us? You're respectful. Thank you. I feel like we should just try that in the basement. We haven't been in the basement. The lady attacks people. Did you hear that? Mm. three or four footsteps upstairs. Do you want us to go to the basement? Is that why you've just let us know? I Jeez. like the dark. Into the dark then, let's go. Right, we're gonna head down to the basement, do a necrophonic, see if we can get anything. This place is crazy. Okay, explorers, so we are down in the basement now. We're gonna do a necrophonic. We've set the cat balls in each corner of the room. It's so muddy down here, my feet are sticking to the floor. We've got the REM pod just on the bottom of the stairs and we've kept the music box at the top of the stairs. I'm literally covered in cobwebs coming down here. Becky's got the K2 still. So we're just gonna ask some questions and see if we can get any answers. So is there anybody down in this basement with us now? You can speak to this device. You can touch the devices around the room. Just let us know you're here. Can you tell us how many people are in this house? Don't leave. Can you tell us if there's any men down here in the basement with us? Any women? You said that um, we should be wary of somebody. Are they still in the house? Yes. Can you 
Can you, can you touch the device Becky's holding? Ow. How? Just reach out and touch it. Is that you that I can hear walking around? Yes. Can you tell us how many people are in this house with us? Can you tell us who's buried here? Whispers freaky, isn't it? I've not heard that before. Is there still something that doesn't want us down here? Do you know what I can hear and we're not moving? The mud. The little slushing. But we're not moving. Is there somebody stood down here with us now? Can you touch one of the devices? There's one on the bottom of the stairs, a red light, it's called a REM pod. If there's somebody down here that hasn't spoke to us yet, can you touch that device? forever. Mm. Can you tell us what we've just heard in this room with us? wasn't on and it hasn't gone off but the bands come off
out the house now. I'm gonna head back to the car and I'll catch up to you there. Okay, explorers, so we've come outside. That place was absolutely amazing. Creepy, bad vibes. Something was definitely in that house with us. We've literally come away because we could hear something. It sounded like it was in the room with us. You could hear the squelching of the footsteps in the mud in the basement. Heard footsteps right above our head. And with the equipment saying we need to be careful and that there's something in the house with us, we just thought it was best to get out of there immediately. So, guys... Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explorers. We are back every week with brand new paranormals and abandoned explorers. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Let's go.